नमस्ते वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द चैप्टर पीरियोडिक टेबल ऑफ एलिमेंट इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज वीडियो नंबर नाइन वे आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड पोजिशन ऑफ एलिमेंट इन मॉडर्न पीरियोडिक टेबल इन मॉडर्न पीरियोडिक टेबल दैट इज हाउ आई कैन लोकेट द ग्रुप नंबर एंड द पीरियड नंबर for a particular element now this we are going to discuss for the first 20 elements that is from hydrogen till potassium as per our scope of syllabus in icsc class 9 now the very first thing what we are going to do what are the elements whose group number and periodic uh, period number which we need to find out we are going to write electronic configuration of that element so it is very necessary for us to know the electronic configuration of an element as we know in modern periodic table elements are arranged in increasing order of its atomic number now we are going we know that there are two system one is a old system and second is a new system that is iupac so how to find the group number of an element in the old system how to find group number of an element in old system so very first thing what i am going to do after writing the electronic configuration i'll find out the number of electron present in a valence shell i'll find out the number of electron present in valence shell and write that number of electron present in valence shell in roman number in roman number so very first thing after writing down the electronic configuration i'll find out how many number of electrons are present in valence shell and then i'll write down that number into roman number and then i'll put capital a as suffix to the roman number as i'll put a capital a as a suffix to the roman number suffix means which is put after the number that's called as a suffix so why i need to put a because b subgroup we don't have in our syllabus so once i got the number in roman number and i put suffix a this will give me the group number of that particular element in old notation in old notation but suppose if you need to find out suppose if you need to find out the group number of that particular element according to new system that is as proposed by iupac so what we are going to do for that very simple once again we go back to our electronic configuration and see if an atom of an element has got one electron in a valence shell i'll go back to electronic configuration of an element and if that atom has got one electron in its valence shell then its group number is 1 but if it has got two electron in a valence shell then its group number is 2 so any element who is having either one or two electron in a valence shell then its group number will become either one or two depending upon the number of electron present in valence shell but what if it do not have one or two electron if it has got more than two electron then also if suppose atom of an element has got 3 to 8 electron if it has got 3 to 8 electron in a valence shell then what we do we add 10 we add 10 to the number of valence electron present in valence shell so for example if an atom of an element has got 3 electron in a valence shell so i'll add 10 in that so 3 plus 10 will become 13 so that 13 will become the group number of that element now question will come why i need to add 10 now the 10 is been added to adjust the b subgroup or the transition elements which are present from group number 3 to 12 as these elements are not there in our syllabus so i'm adding 10 over there and getting the exact group number getting the exact group number according to new system now the next task is to find out the period number to which element belong the period number to which element belong the periods are horizontal row in mendeley periodic in modern periodic table 
as well as in Mendeleev periodic table. Now periods are horizontal rows and we know that in modern periodic table there are seven periods. There are seven periods. Now how to find to which period the element belongs that means to which horizontal line the element belongs. It's also once again very simple. Once again we go back to our electronic configuration and we try to see how many shells are there. So number of shells present in an atom they will give us the period number to which element belongs. So the number of shell will give me so the number of shell will give me the period number to which the element belongs. So is it very simple task? Now a one caution note that means a one important point to remember here. I can adapt this method very easily but there are two approximations I need to make. So these are the points to remember. Now do remember one thing in an old system in an old system all the inert gases inert gases means which have got their duplet or octet completed so which are those helium neon argon krypton xenon radon all the inert gases helium neon argon krypton xenon radon all these are placed under special group that is called as a zero all these groups are all these elements are placed under a special group number that is zero so under old system, so if you find an element helium, just write old system group number is zero. If you find an element argon, put the old system group number is zero. Okay, that's only one approximation we need to do. Now, the next for a new system. Now helium, as we know, helium has got duplet completed and it is placed along with inert gases. So for helium, we need to assume that helium when we are giving a group number under new system we have to take the group number as 18 so if you take 2 as the number of electron in valential and if you add 10 that will become 12 but helium we know that it's not placed in group number 12 it's placed in group number 18 so these are the two important points which we need to remember while giving the group number in the old system as well as new system rest things will fall automatically now let us try to solve few examples based on the rules which we have studied okay now every first we have some examples to discuss now the very first element which is given to me that is beryllium the atomic number is also provided to me very great so beryllium atomic number four electronic configuration will become 2 comma 2 now as you observe that it has got two shell so the number of shell will give me the period number so it is present in second period of the periodic table the old system says that what are the number of electron present in valence shell i need to convert into roman number so let me write 2 into roman number and put a as in suffix put a as in suffix Second, the new system says me, the new system says me, if I have one or two electron in a valence shell, then I write that as a new group number. So the group number will become here 2. That is the second group. I can write down that as in second. Now, next we have sodium. Again, the electronic on atomic number is given. Very great. I need not have to remember much. So 2, comma 8, comma 1. As you know, there are three shells as you know there are three shells first shell second shell third shell so sodium is placed in third period of the periodic table now the group number as once again it has got one electron in the valence shell so the, according to old system one in roman number and put a as in suffix and a new system also will become as only one electron present i write down as in first group so Sodium is placed in the first group of the periodic table and third period. So it is placed in first group and the third period. Now let me take silicon as the next element, atomic number 14. So 2, comma 8, comma 4. Okay. Now as here I can able to see there are three shells. So once again it is placed in third period of the periodic table. Now the old system. The 4, I'll write down in Roman number. So 4, I'll write down in Roman number. So this is 4 
and put a as in suffix now a new system now as you can see here i'm having four electron in a valence shell so what i need to do i need to add 10 so 4 plus 10 will become 14 so 14 this group number for silicon the new group number for silicon then next element i'm having oxygen so oxygen atomic number 8 electronic configuration 26 now as you see there are two shell so as you see there are two shell so what's the period number second okay now what's the group number old system old notation so six is there so i'll convert six into roman number six into roman number and put a okay and the new system as there are six electron which is more than two I'm going to add 10 in that. So 10 plus 6, 16th is a new group number. Hydrogen, one electron only. So it is as only one shell is there. So it is present in first period of the periodic table. The old group number will become first A. And the new group number also becomes first. Then I have calcium, atomic number 20. So electronic configuration becomes 2, 8, 8, 2. As you can see, there are 4 shells. 1st shell, 2nd shell, 3rd shell, 4th shell. So there are 4 shells are present. So I can write down here the period number that is, it is present in 4th period of the periodic table. As it has got 2 electron in valence shell, I convert this 2 into Roman number and put A. According to new system, as there are two electron in valence shell, so the group number becomes second in new system. Next element I'm having aluminium, 2, 8, 3. Okay. Now there are three shells. First shell, second shell, third shell. So number of shell will give me the period number. So it is present in third period of the periodic table. Now the group number. There are three electron in a valence shell, so I convert three into Roman number and put A. Now, as there are three electrons, so if I have three to eight electron in valence shell, I'm going to add 10. So three plus 10, so that becomes 13 as a group number. This becomes 13 as a group number. Next element, carbon. Atomic number six. Electronic configuration becomes two, four. Now there are two shells, so it is present in second period of the periodic table because there are two shells. Now, the according to this old system, I convert into Roman number, so 4 is converted into Roman number and I put suffix A, I put suffix A and the new system as it has got 4 electron in a valence shell, so I need to add 10, so I have 4 plus 10, 14 is a group number. Now, please be careful. If you do not put A, you won't get marks. If you do not put A, you won't get marks because there are 4A and 4B. So, B, although B is not there in our syllabus, but it's mandatory for us to write A. Okay. Next element I'm having, sulfur. Atomic number 16, electronic configuration 286. So, there are three shells. So, the group number will become third sorry the period number will become third okay very sorry and the group number according to old system will become six in roman number and i put a and as it has got six electron in valential i'm going to add 10 so this becomes 16 then helium here we need to be caution as there's a node there as it has got two electron in valential Okay, that's only two electron. So it has got only electronic configuration two. So it has got only one shell. So it is present in first period of the periodic table. And the group here it becomes as helium is inert gas. So I'm going to put this as in zero. As for the old system, it is placed in zero group. A new system, I need to make an approximation here. I need to remember the point that helium in new system has to be placed in 18 group in 18 group if i take this 2 and put helium in second period i am wrong 
I am wrong in new system. So please do remember for helium this approximation which we have written down earlier. Now let us continue further with few more elements so that we can get a grip on this 1 to 20 element and do not make any mistake. Boron atomic number 5 electronic configuration becomes 2 3. Now as there are two shells it is present in second period of the periodic table whole system there are three electrons I convert into Roman number 3 and put A as in suffix. A new system as there are three electrons I am going to add 10 so this becomes 13. Next element magnesium atomic number 12 electronic configuration becomes 2A2. Now there are three shells so it is present in third period of the periodic table the group number is 2A old system and the new system is second only is second only then next element I am having chlorine the non-metal 2 8 7 atomic number 7 17 electronic configuration 2 8 7 now, as you can see here there are three shells so it is present in third period of the periodic table it is present in third period of the periodic table and the group number according to old system there are seven electrons I put seven into Roman number and put a as a suffix and the group number according to new system will become 17 okay next I'm having phosphorus atomic number 15 2 8 5 so once again there are three shell I put in third period of the periodic table there are five electron so five are put as in Roman number and put a as in suffix now as there are 5 electrons more than 2 so I am going to add 10 in that so 5 plus 10 15 so phosphorus is placed according to new system in 15 group nitrogen atomic number 7 2 5 once again it is present in second period of the periodic table because there are only 2 shells the group number as there are 5 electron so I will write 5 into roman number and put a and the new system is 15. Gen uh, nitrogen is placed above phosphorus. Okay, nitrogen in periodic table is placed above phosphorus. So phosphorus is below actually. Here we just make some adjustment. Now, next we have chlorine. Atomic number 9. Electronic configuration becomes 27. Now there are two shell. The so second period of the periodic table. Okay, now. It is there are seven electrons. I'll put seven into Roman number and put A as an suffix and 17th group according to new system. Argon 288. There are three shells. So it is present in third period. Now we know that argon is an inert gas. Octet is completed. So according to old system, we need to assume that its group number is zero here approximation need to be made the caution note which was there and the new group number will become 8 plus 10 that is 18 here it is fitting in that particular 18 group so new need not have to worry about that now potassium atomic number 19 2 8 8 1 so if you can see here there are four shell first shell second shell third shell fourth shell so there are four shell so it is present in fourth period of the periodic table now there's only one electron in outermost shell so i'll write down one into roman number and put a as in suffix and the group number according to new system will become first next element i'm having neon that is two eight atomic number 10 electronic configuration two eight now there are two shells so it is present in second period of the periodic table now once again the note according to old system helium neon argon krypton xenon radon are placed in zero group i put here zero and the new system there are eight electron in a valence shell so i am going to add 10 so 8 plus 10 18 is a group number according to new system the next element i am having lithium atomic number three electronic configuration two one okay now there are two shells 
so obviously it is present in second period of the periodic table and the group number according to old system i am converting one into roman number and put a as in suffix and the new system as it has got one electron so it's according to new system the group number is first so you must have understood this particular rules and its application how we have been applying on 1 to 20 element which has been shown to you thank you for watching